Southwest Florida, they are filing in. The dancers are coming in. Let's take a look before we get to Barbara. Let's take a look right over here. I have cameraman slowly filing over. As you can see, all of these people are coming in. This is the African Network of Southwest Florida's Night of Enchantment. We got out of town performers, professional dancers who are here to open the ceremony. Lee Pitts Live is here uh, as a media sponsor. And as we work our way back to this interview, we have a representative here from Wales Fargo Bank. All that's taking place tonight, if you were not here, you missed it. We're at Florida Gulf Coast University. I'm dressed in my African garb. Tonight you'll actually see a ceremony where an American will be uh, ordained as an elder in the African village. All that's going to take place right here tonight, the Night of Enchantment. And without further ado, we're so delighted to have here a pillar in our community, not only in Naples, but throughout Southwest Florida, a great banker, a vice president at Wells Fargo Bank, Barbara Melvin. Barbara, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Lee. Appreciate being here. It's always an honor to get you here. We've been trying to get you for many years. We've implemented the Barbara Melvin rule. That's an inside joke. But Barbara, uh, if I'm not mistaken, were you here last year or the year before last? Um, year before last. What do you think about the turnout, that just how it's looking so far early on in the stage? I love it. Love it. looks great. The turnout, the, the way that everything is decorated is just beautiful. Beautiful. Now, I understand you, somebody here is going to be singing that uh, near and dear to you. Let's go ahead and plug the, the, the romantic voices or something like that. The most romantic voice of Southwest Florida, Daniel Melvin. All right. Everybody knows Daniel Melvin. They can Google him at that, right? They sure can. Daniel Melvin. Get him to come out and sing. We're talking to Barbara Melvin, as we well know, uh, Vice President of Wells Fargo Bank. B Barbara, why is it important that we have these types of events in our community? Well, we need diversity and inclusion, and I think these type of events come out where everyone can learn about each other's culture, and I think that's very important to not only learn but know, and it helps to bring us closer together. The more we know, the better we can be. Now, a lot of times we come out to events and we talk about different cultures, but we only see one culture there. Tonight is a clear representation of various cultures here in Southwest Florida. Speak to that. Yes, and I, I'm a part of Diversity Council, and one thing we like is that with diversity, we have Hispanics here, we have African Americans, we have Africans. This is just wonderful. So I love to see the togetherness that we see tonight. Say something about my good friend, Dr. Peter Denui, who's the president of the African Network of Southwest Florida. Dr. Peter is amazing. To get everyone together on one accord and with his hard work and leadership, it's paying off. Now, talk to us about, uh, I understand that some big honors are being paid to you. You, uh, you received an award in uh, January. Tell us, uh, tell us about that. Yes, I am one of the champions for the Education Foundation, the Carriers um, Champions for Learning, and I was selected with um, 19 other people to be one of their champions to celebrate the 25th year anniversary for the Education Foundation, also known as the Champions for Learning. Uh, we're so proud of you, Barbara. You just represent us so well. Tell us some of the criteria that they use to select you so people can understand some of the work that you do in the community. Sure. As a community leader, I believe in education, and I help to work with the students. I am on the um, Collier County. I work with them on um, some of the committees that they have. We have what we call conversation, where we hosted a conversation at our home so that people in the community can find out about the school system and see how we can make it better, give some different advice to the school, and that's one of the things that helped me to be nominated and to win one of the awards. Now, how do you blend your work and your civic responsibility? Is that something that is encouraged at uh, Wells Far Fargo Bank, one of America's great banks? <laughs> yes, it is. As a vice president of the bank, one of our duties is we have to give back into the community. And one thing that Wells Fargo does is we really promote community awareness. And working with the school system, the Education Foundation, is one of the ways that I give back to the community. Let's give you an opportunity to tell people to come to you for all your small business needs. <laughs> I just said it, but you can say it again. Yes. What types of loans? Um, I really do commercial loans, so any type of commercial loans, investment properties, they can come see me, but we're Wells Fargo, so whatever you need, we can do. Okay, uh, and I, I guess uh, Barbara Melvin, they can just Google you at Wells Fargo? Sure can, and my phone number, 239-248-8723. There you go, you can plug stuff on Lee Pitts Live. That's what it's like when a brother is the owner of the show. I can do what I want to do. 
All right, now let's do some more bragging on Barbara. Uh, Barbara, I, I know you don't want to brag on yourself, but I want to brag on you. I want to congratulate you on all the work that you do with Dress for Success. I understand that you're bringing Dress for Success down to the Naples area. It's been Lee County based in the past. Tell us a little bit, of Sesame Street it for us. What is Dress for Success and what does it mean to have it coming down to uh, uh, Naples? It's a really um, important program for our young ladies where we help women to go back into the workforce. We give them clothes, so when they, we give them interview clothes, and then we give them seven days worth of clothes. So once they get a job, they have clothes to wear. But it's more than just clothes. We actually educate because I'm in banking. I help with cash flow, budgeting, and we help with images. So it's a lot of things that we do for the women of Dress for Success. So we're so excited that we're coming to Naples and we'll be able to work with the women of Carl. County. In March, we're going to have an event also coming up that you'll hear more about. You'll hear more about that on Leap is Like. Or Barbara, uh, send me an email. Now, Barbara, tell us how can people get more information on Dress for Success? Sure. You go to our website at www.dressforsuccess.org slash Southwest Florida. Or you can call us at 239-689-4992. That's Barbara Melvin right here on Leap is Live. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much. We'll be right back.